Happy New Year's Eve. My name is Pamela Krim, and my husband and I are founders of Big Life. And in this single simple video, I will be teaching you the entire Big Life goal setting system. Right here in this video, along with me, you're going to be choosing your top 16 goals for 2016, writing your goals for the month of January, and coming up with some really fun things for your entire family to enjoy. So let's get started. Here we are, final day of 2015, and you come to this final day probably feeling one of two ways. Either you are hyped up and excited because you just experienced an awesome year of life. You were successful and you're saying, I want some more of that. Bring on some more success. Or you're coming to this final day of the year and you're a little bit beaten down. You're a little discouraged. This year wasn't all you hoped that it would be. But you're still here, aren't you? You see, I would rather you be discouraged from the year that you just lived and watching this than complacent. Because complacent people never rise up to that next level of living. They just kind of stay stuck where they're at. But because you're watching this, I know that you're not complacent, you're not satisfied, you're ready for more, you're ready for that next level, and I want to teach you how to make it happen. Included in the welcome email you received, there were the templates that you can print out for free. Two different templates, super simple, okay? Listen to me. You don't have to go out and spend a bunch of money to set your goals for 2016. I'm giving it to you completely free. So make sure that you have those printouts with you. That's the Sweet 16 and the Sticky Goals. And I hope that you'll also just make this a working video that you will watch and you will pause and you will get caught up and then you will play some more, okay? This isn't a video that you just sit down and watch all at once. I want you to work with me. Let's work together. And by the end of this video, you will have your 16 top goals for the year and your goals for the month of January completely written. Because here's what I know, if you watch the whole video and you don't work through it, the odds of you actually coming back and doing it later are pretty slim. But if you will work through this right here with me right now, pause the video as necessary, you're gonna be set up for success and ready to take it to that next level. Are you ready for your big life living? Let's bring it on. Let's start with the Sweet 16. Choosing your top 16 goals for 2016. For some of you, this is easy. You, you know what you want out of a year of life and it's super simple for you. But for others, this is a little difficult. I hear it all the time, Pamela, I don't know what I want. I, I, I have no idea what I want. And so here's what I recommend. Take a look at this sticky goals sheet. And right here in the blue boxes, I give you some different areas of your life, health and fitness, family, spiritual, finances, career, and home and personal. Look at those areas and just simply ask yourself, what would it take for me to feel really good about my health come December 31st, 2016? What would I hope to have accomplished? Then ask yourself the same question for your family. What would make you proud of yourself at the end of 2016 for your family? What is it that you want to do? What do you want to remember 2016 by? And that's how you choose your top 16 goals for the year of 2016, your sweet 16. Are you ready to make it a sweet year of life? Hey, I am, I wanna make this year count. Sister, you and I don't know how many more years we get to live. And so we're gonna make this one count. So here's a look at my personal sweet 16 list. All right, these are my personal top 16 goals for the year. And I'll tell you, I had 38 goals and I really had a hard time choosing my top 16, but these are the ones that come December 31st, I will be most proud of accomplishing. Now, I want you to write your sweet 16 goals now. Go through each category, your health, your fitness, family, spiritual, finances, career, 
home, and personal. Just go through them one at a time. Start asking yourself that question. Maybe you'll be like me and you'll have an abundance to choose from. And, and then the real problem is narrowing it down and choosing your top 16. But there should be a variety, okay? Your, your sweet 16 can't be all fun. It can't all be vacation and road trips, okay? That's not a balanced life. But it can't all be business and finances and getting out of debt either. It needs to be balanced, including all the different areas of your life. So take a look at these areas. Make your sweet 16 list. Come back to me once you have made your list. All right, I'm trusting if you're continuing watching, you have completed your sweet 16 list. Now I want to tell you what to do with it. Don't tuck it away. If you tuck it away, that's what most people do with their New Year's goals is they write them and then they put them away. And then they forget about them and come the end of the year, they don't even remember what they set out to do. But the experts tell us that if you write your goals and if you see your goals every day, you are 300 times more likely to achieve your goals. So here's what I'm thinking. You would have to be freaking crazy not to write your goals and, and read your goals. I mean, really, you'd have to be freaking crazy not to follow this simple system. 300 times more likely to live the life that you want to live this year? <laughs> Sign me up for that one. Or you would have to be freaking lazy. And see, that's how some people are. They, they're just kind of lazy. And we never get around to writing them and then we tuck them away and we never read them. So I have a little secret that makes it absolutely impossible for you not to see your sweet 16 list every single day. Are you ready for this? This is brilliant. It wasn't my own. Somebody gave me this idea. I've done it ever since and it is incredible. I put my yearly list in a page protector. And then I use packing tape and seal it up. I mean, I guess you could go and get it professionally done, but this is what I do. Page protector, seal it up with clear packing tape, and then I tape that baby on my shower wall so that every day when I'm sudsing up the hair, I have nothing else to look at in the shower except for my goal list for that year of life. And I play a little game, I memorize them and I close my eyes while I'm shampooing my hair and I try to recite all of them one by one by one. Why? Because you're 300 times more likely to achieve those goals when you write them and you read them every day. So don't just put them away. Where are you gonna put them? on your shower wall. If you come up with another great idea of where you're absolutely forced to see them every day, maybe exactly directly across from the toilet, I don't know. Somewhere where you're at every day and you have nothing else to look at, that's where you should be putting your sweet 16 list. Now, since I have it in a page protector and I have it sealed up, when I accomplish one of them, I just cut the tape, take it out, color in the box as achieved, put it back in, tape it back up, Put it back on the shower wall. Really, it's simple, but I believe in the KISS system. Keep it simple, sister, because simple works. We can get really good at setting goals, and there's a lot of people that are experts at setting goals. But you see, I would rather be an expert at achieving goals, and I believe keeping it simple is the way to go. So, once you have your sweet 16 list written, you are now ready to move on over to Sticky Goals. Sticky Goals is a system that Lonnie and I have been working on for years and just kind of perfecting it and massaging it. And we finally gotten, after all these years and teaching it to thousands of people, we finally found just the sweet spot, the thing that works. And it's this template, our Sticky Goals system template. Here's what you do. I'm gonna walk you through it one by one. Print out the template. Once you've printed out the template, go ahead and get yourself some sticky notes. Post-it notes work best. If you buy the cheap ones, they won't stay. So I would recommend just go ahead and spend the dollar and get the good ones. We use three different size of post-it notes on our template. We use a three by three inch square, a two by two inch square, and then these half inch by two inch tabs. 
Now, if you don't have access to all the different size post-it notes, then get some bigger ones and just cut them down. That's exactly what I used to do until I got addicted to post-it notes and I now have every size and every color because I love them. And I'm wondering why Post-It hasn't sponsored us yet. Hello, Post-It. Big Life and Post-It need to get together on this stuff, all right? So get out your template and just put your blank Post-It notes on it in the correct places. It already shows you exactly where to put them. The categories are already broken down. So just put them on there, all right? Once you have your blank Post-Its on the template, I want you to turn your attention to this little box right here my top three goals for 2016. How do you find out what your top three goals are? Well, take a look at your Sweet 16 list that you just completed. What are the top three that are most important to you, that would just have a domino effect on every area of your life, that would be the most powerful goals for you to reach and probably the most difficult ones as well. Just make sure that they are actually possible within a 365 day time period okay don't go too crazy on me here but pick your top three and write those down those do not change they stay there every single year this uh, every single month this template you are going to use every month and you just change out the post-it notes but these three the top three goals for the year are written in ink, in Sharpie, whatever, but they do not change. They stay there, okay? They don't get covered up, they stay. All right, so now that you have your top three goals written on your template and you have your blank post-its, now you're ready to move on to the next part of the video. Pause if you need to for a little bit of time. Okay, now, this is a sample that I've worked up for what um, your January goals could look like, okay? Again, we are just focusing on one month at a time. That's the beauty of the sticky goal system. One month at a time. We don't have to be overwhelmed with the entire year. We're just looking at one month of life. And what's really beautiful about this system is come July when nobody else is writing goals, you're still writing goals because every month we write our goals. This Sweet 16 list is your master list, okay? This is the list that you continually refer back to, and this is the list that helps you fill out your monthly goals. Your monthly goals should be steps to achieve goals on your Sweet 16 list. Does that make sense? Okay, these goals have to be something to help you accomplish these. Maybe it's not full on accomplish it, but it's a step towards it. Okay, let's start right here. There's three different categories on the sticky goals template. There's group goal, individual goals, and bucket list goals. We're gonna start with my personal favorite, bucket list. What's the point of being out of debt and perfect weight and a house perfectly clean if you're not having fun, your family is going to fall apart if you don't learn to have some fun. And guess what, mama? It's up to you to create the fun in your family. And that's why we have bucket list goals. Every month we set goals on how to create fun in your family. Create it. Don't just wait for it to happen and certainly don't wait for vacation to have fun. You can create fun every single day of the year. You don't need money, you don't need a lot of time, you just need to be a little bit creative. And I love dishing out creative ideas on ways to have fun with your family. So just come up with some fun, simple things that you can do with your family or for you personally as well in the month of January. If you live in a place that snows, build a snowman. I don't mean just any snowman, I mean like go all out, go buy the big carrots, be ready. All right, build a big snowman. Uh, maybe if you have a fire pit, have a fire one night and everybody cuddle around the fire. Go to the movies. Have a family room picnic. I mean, seriously, my, my kids loved this. I would spread out a blanket on the living room floor and we would bring our dinner in and we would have a picnic because it was too cold outside. And it was just a family room picnic. It doesn't cost anything. Your family's going to eat. 
but why not make it something fun? How about pancakes for dinner? Married girls, date night. You and your husband need a date night in January. Make it happen. So just write some fun goals. Those are your bucket list. Just your fun, just for no other reason than to enjoy the heck out of life this month and this month. That's it. Just have fun. Make some memories. Take some photos along the way. Now, the serious stuff. Right here in blue, the individual goals. Like I said before, your individual goals are broken up into four different categories to keep you balanced. You don't want all your goals in one category of your life. You want to make sure that things are balanced. So when you take a look at your Sweet 16, especially your top three goals off of that, what just little pieces of those goals can you work towards this month? So, for example, in the health and fitness, let's say that you want to lose 50 pounds this year. Is that possible? Yes, losing 50 pounds is possible in the next 365 days. Is losing 50 pounds in the next 30 days possible? No, no. And in fact, it's overwhelming looking at lose 50 pounds. But maybe if it were lose five pounds, is lose five pounds in a month possible? You bet your butt it is, sister. You bet it is. And so you write a, a sticky goal of lose five pounds. Do you understand? You break it down to just this month. What can you achieve this month? Or how about you want to lose weight? So one of the ways you're going to lose weight is you're going to start working out. And you're going to work out five times per week in the month of January. That is an excellent goal. But then I like to take it just a little step further because you see as overwhelming as a one year goal is, a one month goal often gets put off and we wait until the last week of the month and then we're like, oh crap, I need to lose five pounds or I need to work out 25 times and I'm already really behind. And so I like to take the goals and break them down into what we call mini goals. A mini goal is one week of your monthly goal. Just one week of it. Okay, so right here in yellow is the mini goal. The bigger goal is work out five times per week because we have a goal of losing weight this year. So we're gonna work out five times per week. And then the mini goal says week one workout. So we're gonna just focus on one week at a time. And then the next mini goal says week two workout. And then week three workout. And then when you've done that the entire month, then boom, you just achieved your bigger goal of working out five times per week. Make sense? Now, we're gonna do that for every single area. Not all of them can be broken down. For example, if you have a goal of pay an extra $200 on your debt in the month of January, that one's kind of a lump sum. You just do it all at once. And so that one might not be able to be broken down. But those that can be broken down, make sure that you break them down. Such as declutter the house. Oh, that's overwhelming. But what about a mini goal of declutter the kitchen? And then declutter the bathroom. And then declutter the bedroom. That's something that you could do in a week. Heck, that's something you could do in a day, right? And then what we do, what makes sticky goals so special is, as we achieve a goal, we don't just throw them away. You see, we like to have our goals in front of us where we can see them, but we also like to see our progress. We like to see what we have achieved. So here's the secret, okay? You're going to put this sticky goal template with this month's goals in a place where you will see it every single day. Again, 300 times more likely to achieve the goal if you see it and read it every day. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I personally like to put my sticky goal template and the sticky goals for the month in my bathroom, okay? Master bath on the left side of my bathroom mirror is where my sticky goals for the month go. Okay, left side is what I'm working on. Right side is what I have achieved. Some of you have seen photos of my mirror at the end of the year before, and it's covered, absolutely covered all over the place in goals that I've achieved. In fact, for 2015, I have achieved 332 goals. 
And each one of them are written on a little post-it note. And I'm able to see them. I actually see the progress throughout the entire year. And girlfriend, let me tell you, that is powerful. Because when you're having a bad day, just looking up and seeing, man, I have achieved some good stuff so far this year. It encourages you just to keep going. In fact, here's just a few of my achieved goals from 2015. And so you don't throw them away as you achieve them. You take it off. So week one, you successfully worked out five times a week. And so for me, it's on the left side of my mirror that I'm working on. I'm going to move it to the right side of my mirror. And boom, there it is. I get to see it. Then I move on, week two, achieved, I move it. Now what happens if week three, I don't achieve the goal? Then that sticky goal doesn't get moved and I move on to week four. That's another beautiful thing about the sticky goal system is you can screw up and then you can keep going. The entire goal doesn't have to go out the window just because you had a bad day or a bad week. Pick up move on, refocus, all right? So let's make sure right here at this part in the video that you have written your bucket list for January, your fun goals, and you have written your individual goals, at least one for each of the four areas of your life. Have you written those? Have you broken them down into mini goals? Just one step at a time, one pound at a time, one week at a time, one area at a time, okay? That's so very, very important. Let me caution you. If you're brand new to goal setting or if you've set goals in the past and you've failed miserably, I caution you not to go overboard with setting too many goals. Refrain, okay? Pull it in, resist the urge, and just keep it to one goal per area, okay? four individual goals just to get started. Achieve those, then we can move on to more. I see people just come out of that gate and go wild and they set 20 goals for themselves for that month and they get overwhelmed, frustrated, and they quit. And I don't want that to be you. Again, I don't want you to be an expert at setting goals. I want you to be an expert at achieving your goals. So let's start small. We can always build up and add more later. So just be careful. Don't get overwhelmed with too many goals. If at any time you're not able to recite to me your individual goals for a month, then that means one of two things. Actually, one of three things. Number one, you never set them. <laughs> number two, you're not reading them every day. Or number three, you have too many. So keep it simple, sister. That's the key here. Keep it simple. All right. Now, the third category of our sticky goals is the group goal. And if you're in big life mentoring every month on the first day of the month, I give you a group goal. It's the focus for the month of mentoring. It's what I'm teaching you. It's what we want you to implement in your life. And I will personally give you that goal. And so hundreds of people will have the same exact group goal written. And on the last day of each month, we ask ourselves, did I achieve what I set out to achieve in that group goal? And if you did, then fantastic. You get to take it off and move it over to the right side. If you're not in big life mentoring, no need to worry. That's a perfect spot for you to place a, a focus for the month for yourself. Maybe a focus word, um, an intention that you really have for yourself, for your marriage, for your relationships, for your finances, whatever it might be. But if you're in mentoring, I get to give it to you and I have some fantastic ones coming each month in 2016. Now, at the end of the month, for goals that you do not achieve? That's a big question. What do you do if, if you set a goal to pay an extra $200 on your debt and you come to the end of the month and you didn't do it? What, what do you do with that goal? Well, I, I want you to ask yourself, is that goal still important to you? And if it is still important to you and if it's feasible still, then I want you to keep it up for the next month. If it's, you're realizing maybe you set the goal a little bit too high, maybe it should have been to pay an extra $100 in debt, then rewrite it for $100. There's nothing wrong with kind of chunking that goal down. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. So maybe you need to just lessen the size of the bite just a tad bit. 
But maybe you ask yourself, is this goal still important? And maybe it's not. And that's really okay. Life changes. So if the end of the month you haven't achieved a goal and you ask yourself, is this still important to me? If the answer is no, then don't hesitate to take off the goal and throw it away. Every month, clean slate. You get to start fresh on your goals. Man, it works. Hey, I'll tell you something. I have taught thousands of people this goal setting system. And I've never had a single, not one, not a single person tell me that they have set their goals every single month and aren't better for it. Every single person who has followed our system and set goals every month using their sticky goals comes to the end of the year a better person, having accomplished more than they ever imagined possible. And that's what I want for you. That's what my husband and I want most for you, is we want you to experience the year of life that's available to you. We want your family to experience you as you were created to be. We want you to be happy. We want you to be successful. We want you to be healthy. We want you to be filled with passion. And I want you to be an expert at achieving your goals. And I want to help you do it. My wish for you in this year of life in 2016 is that you come to the final day and you look back and you've checked off all these sweet 16 items and your mirror or wherever you choose to put your sticky goals is covered in successes. And you can take in a big deep breath and you can say, I am proud of myself. I'm proud of the year of life I've lived. And if you've ever had that feeling before, you know it's absolutely priceless. And if you've never had that feeling before, may I just tell you that it's available to you. If you work, keep it simple. Call in some help. I would love to help you. Hey, if you are struggling with setting your goals, if, if you're just kind of stuck, all right, let me tell you something. You're not alone. And tomorrow on New Year's Day, my husband Lonnie and I are going to be tag teaming a live, completely free New Year's Day broadcast. And here's what we want to help you do. We want to help you failure proof your goals will help you set those goals and help you failure proof your goals. It is possible. It is possible to be wildly successful, even if you've never achieved a goal before. We know how to help you and we're willing and able to help you. We want to do it. We are standing by. So please tune in New Year's Day, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. The emails to you if you signed up for our emails will include all the information for you to watch free. Also, make sure you're following me on Facebook. I post a ton of stuff there as well. Again, it's Pamela Headbama Krim on Facebook. I would love to share everything with you. We're actually going to be sharing tomorrow night in that live broadcast uh, our family story and how we went from living a common life, a comfortable life, to a life of adventure. From the beaches of California to the lakes of Missouri, now to a ranch in Arkansas, all in the last three years. And we'll show you how we did it step by step and teach you how you too can live a life of adventure. So, happy New Year's Eve. I've loved spending some time with you here and I hope to see you tomorrow night on the live broadcast on New Year's Day. Enjoy setting your goals. I can't wait to hear from you. Bye-bye.